witchking.com here is the officially licensed sword of Robin Hood and this is the Robin Hood that came out in 2010 with Russell Crowe but what separates this one from many if not most licensed blades this one is fully functional and a complete badass razor sharp and yeah you can split hairs with this edge it's a forged hand forged high carbon steel about 40 inches weighs about um, a little bit over three pounds but yeah that's a gorgeous blade and the aged look of the hilt is just good looking and if you remember the quote let's see well I'll turn that around here in a minute let's turn it around now all right until lambs become lions and rise and rise again a little hard to see but the distressed aged look is off the charts impressive but this is as, as traditional blade smithing as you can get it's a forged again high carbon steel tempered has a fuller down the center to reduce the weight full tang of course and also what's nice is the tang it's a uh, peened on as opposed to a screwed on pommel which of course is best and this one's about a hand and a quarter some people would call that maybe a hand and a half have really big hands or even a single hand, whatever you want to refer to it as, but it's really comfortable. Even though it does weigh, to, weigh over three pounds, you can easily hold it with one hand. And like I said, it is razor sharp. These sold out many, many years ago. Yeah, that aged appearance is good looking. Has zero hilt shake. Really sturdy. Everything is flush and tight and exactly what a sword should be. Oh yeah, there's the display plaque. There's your box. Pretty exciting box. Based on the motion, motion picture from Universal. I thought the movie was impressive. I've been a big fan of Russell Crowe for many years. I first saw him when I was a kid in Romper Stomper. And then of course many years later in Gladiator. But again, this is exactly like the movie version. Am I not entirely sure, but I believe they made them for the movie itself. Same as Kingdom of Heaven. And the quality is... I can't tell you enough how good the quality is. I don't have the, the scabbard that they made, unfortunately. I wish I had one. They're really hard to find, but it came with this, this impressive scabbard, which I do not have. 
does come with the mounting hardware. So if you just have one sword to wield in the zombie apocalypse, this would be a good one to have. Excellent weight. You can still wield it easily, like I said, with one hand. A lot of these stainless steel blades, swords you can't handle with one hand. And again, that fuller does reduce the weight significantly. And this cross is only on one side, just like the movie. Again, peened on pommel, not the cheap screw on pommel, so it's done accurately. And yes, it does feel great in your hand. No matter what size you have, hand, I think it would fit your hand nicely. And... That's pretty much it. Good looking sword from an excellent movie. Yeah, I've also been a fan of Ridley Scott for a long time, so. If you can find one, I highly recommend it. Witchking.com, signing off.